because he's on the back of my head, I can't run away from him. Because the elbow is in, I can't hug him. If I try to change my level, he follows me. So I want that. I want to always get inside. Now he can't pull me in. He can't push me out. And he can't change level on me. But I can change level on him. And then, you know, it's not bad at the beginning to grab the wrist. The only problem is that if you've done any like, kind of hand fighting, he picks his thumb up and he just pulls out. You know, anytime you grab my hand, I just pull out. So if I do this, I'm going to lose it really quickly. That's why I don't do it. Um, the plucking, you pluck, you come underneath, and you do an arm drag, it's the way to get the back. I pluck, I come under, and I arm drag. but I come across my body, right? I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna rip. My shoulder comes up and my neck comes crunchy to make it, uh, you know, gets crunched up so that there's less area for him to pull. And then when I'm pulling this way, I pull across into a double arm. The reason I wanna stay close here is that if I let him stand up, he can hit me, he can do stuff to me. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring the weight down. enough that actually my shoulder can come in and then once it does I'm going to reach underneath and underhook him. Then what I'll do is my hip will follow my underhook and I'll get to the side. You can't knee me. Oh, sideways. Right? And because it's Not from here. This gives him room for his arm to like wiggle out and come in. It gives him room to throw the knee. Pop and in, exactly. Here, it's harder for him to throw the knee, right? He wants to hit me, and then I'll have my monkey arm waiting to block. Just like this. I don't use the thumb ever because with all the struggling, I don't want my thumb to get popped out. I want to catch him here. This hook is going to keep his arm from coming out. This is going to give me a lot of surface area, and by having my elbow down and in, it's going to keep him from going out and under me. pull his arms up and out because of here. If he tries to come in and underneath, it's hard because my elbows are down. Here you can you can do a steering wheel and you can spin like a bus steering wheel. You can this also will keep him from running away, but this you know, he can't run away from it. He can't come in because the elbow is in. And he can't change level because of the other one. At this point, I now begin to fire knees. <laughs> the easiest one is I can duck under. Now remember, when I duck under, it doesn't mean putting my head in here, because here he's going to choke me. I got to be like a curious monkey. And look up and look around. Because from here, if he tries to wrap my head, he's going to have trouble doing it. Oh, if he does that, I love him. Do it, do it. Why do I love him? Because he just gave me a shoulder lock. And my head is up, so there's no way he's going to finish me. What's up, so I can finish him. to do what we call a fire ride. 
which is I'm going to step a little over here. I'm going to step and I'm going to bring the knee across his thigh. Because what I want to do is I want to knock him square. So I come here, boom, pop. That one's going to hurt. So if you had the other leg forward, I come this way. One, two, knee. All right, from here, I'm going to bring him flat. It's going to be easy to take down. What I'm going to do, since I have this and this, is this leg is going to slide in. I'm going to sit down, and this arm is making him really heavy. So I'm going to sit down, but I'm going to sit down so that I'm straight. I'm not going to fall. So. I come in this way. The reason I want to like, boom, and I'm going to sit up. See, like here, for example, he's got no guard game. Middle inner hooking is around the knee. Now here, sometimes you get a better result, but it's more advanced because you have to have enough ability to have enough balance to hop on this leg there, 45. Doing this kind of stuff. 